Have you ever opened your WordPress website and suddenly you see that message? There has been critical error on your site. Now before we jump to the troubleshooting, first of all, what does this error mean? Basically, this error means that something on your WordPress website has stopped working or something is going wrong. When that happens, WordPress shuts everything down to prevent any further damages or even bigger problem. That's why you see this critical error message instead of your site. And it usually happens because of a broken plugin, a theme conflict, a memory limit issue, or sometimes an outdated PHP version, and etc. But luckily, identifying and addressing these causes can resolve this issue quickly. So without further ado, let's get straight into the troubleshooting. So sometimes and most of the time, an outdated or poorly coded plugin can break your site. And the easiest way to check if this is the cause of your error is to disable all the plugins at once. Here's how you can do it. Now, if you have access to your WordPress dashboard, simply go to the plugins, click on install plugins, click on this option to select all, and then click on bulk action and then select deactivate. And this would disable all the plugins at once causing the issue. Now, if you see deactivating the plugins solved the issue, now you need to reactivate the plugins one by one to identify which plugin was causing the issue. Once you find the problematic plugin, for example this, delete it and reactivate all the others. Now, if you do not have access to your WordPress dashboard, open your file manager via your hosting panel or connect using an FTP client like FileZilla. In the root folder, go to WP content and then plugin folder. Rename the folder plugins to plugins old to disable all the plugins at once. Now try reloading your website. If it works, one of the plugin was the issue. If not, plugins are not the problem. Rename the folder back to its original name. In my case, it was a plugin issue. Now to find the bad plugin among all, open it and rename individual plugins one by one to see which one breaks the site. And there you go, you will find your culprit. Now if plugins are not the issue, the next thing to check is your theme. So sometimes a theme update or theme conflict can break your site. And to fix it, all you need to do is either delete that theme or simply switch to WordPress default theme to see if that fixes things. Here's how you can do it. Again, if you have access to your WordPress dashboard, simply go to the appearance, then click on theme and switch to WordPress default theme like 2024. You can also delete the suspected theme causing the issue. If the theme conflict was the issue, that should fix the error. Now, if themes and plugins are not the issue, then we need to dig a little deeper. And the best way to do that is enable debug mode. This will give us a detailed error message instead of just critical error message on your site. Here's how you can do it. Again, open your file manager by your hosting panel or connect using an FTP client like FileZilla. In the root folder, locate the wp-config-php file and click view edit. Find this line. Change false to true like this. Now save the file or simply press Ctrl S and reload your site. This will show you the exact error message, which can help you pinpoint the problem. For example, in my case, the error message pointed to the WP content, plugins, reverse slider folder, meaning the reverse slider plugin was causing the issue. Simply deactivating or fixing that plugin resolved the problem. And we have already did that. Now let's talk about the PHP memory. Now PHP is the programming language that runs WordPress. And just like your computer needs RAM to run functions, your website needs PHP memory to function properly. Now, if you have too many plugins, a big website, or a theme that requires a lot of resources, 
WordPress might run out of PHP memory causing this critical error issue on your site. And the fix is to increase the PHP memory limit. Here's how you can do it. Open the WP config PHP and just before the line that says that's all stop editing, add this line. Save the file and check your website again. Now if your hosting provider is using an outdated PHP version, some plugins and theme might not work properly causing this error. So all you need to do is contact your hosting support, ask them to update your site to at least the PHP version of 7.4 or higher. Once they have made the changes, check your website if this has resolved the issue. So keeping your PHP version updated not only fixes the error but also make your site faster and more secure. Now sometimes even after fixing the problems, the errors still appear because of cached files. So let's clear the cache to make sure we are seeing the latest version of our site. Now, if you have access to your WordPress dashboard and have any caching plugin installed, clear the cache from the settings. Here's how. But if you do not have access to your WordPress dashboard, clear the cache from your hosting panel or any FTP client. So go to WP Content. I had Lightspeed Cache plugin on my site. So either I can rename it from here or I can further go to the plugins and then from here, I can rename it and that's it the cache will be clear all right if you have tried everything and the error is still there the problem is might be on your hosting provider end in that case all you need to do is reach out to your hosting support give them the detailed error message from the debug mod they should be able to help you and there you have it by following this simple step, you should be able to fix the critical error on your WordPress website and get it back to running state. Let me know which fix worked for you. Now, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more troubleshooting tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.